Hello again, YouTube. This is the Sunday sermon from me, the Truth Man. The channel is the No Matrix, No Simping, All Subjects channel. I'm also known as Prophet Howard. Those of you who don't know, I have been in ministry for a number of years. I kind of advanced in my knowledge and wisdom and understanding. So I, my approach to ministry and things related to ministry is different. In case you're wondering, you might see me comment on videos. Listen, we're going to get into it in the days to come. I know y'all been kind of duped into thinking what a pastor is supposed to be. Um, but you got to understand the most high uses who he uses and chooses who he chooses. And no, I didn't get that from nobody. And if you use it, acknowledge me at least. But you got to understand that we're going to be either judged or rewarded when it's all said and done at the end of the age, we can call it, or, or the transformation of the world. What do I mean by this? The new heavens and the new earth come down and become one kingdom. This earth is going to pass away because of all the evil that it entails and, and the new heavens and the new earth, there will be no evil. The Bible says that he going to wipe the tears from our eyes. You know, he going he gonna to kind of make us forget about the things like people. Sometimes when people die, they, they be crying, even though they're not in their physical body anymore for a number of reasons. Because they, you know, sometimes they leave kids behind. Kids be special needs sometimes. This, that, and the other, you know, and they go into this new everlasting life. And when they get there, they probably be crying. So the, the ones that were right with the most high, he wipes the tears from their eyes. He meets them and everything, like in person like where they can see him, you know, whatever he tells us, it's going to be all right. You're in my kingdom now. This is the best there is. Whatever he tells us, they're good. Give him rope, tell him to rest a little while until all this stuff happen. And that's the end of it. Eviction is not supposed to be the end of a person's life. <laughs> Repossession is not supposed to be the end. A breakup is not supposed to be the end. You obviously don't understand life. If you let anything in this earth, which is going to pass away, take you away from the most high, ruin your life. You can't even enjoy life. You know, because you've too focused on this, like the Bible, the parable of the sower talked about how the cares of this life choke the word. When we're going to get into some scriptures at the how we supposed to respond to the word. Now, Hebrews 9 and 27. Is the main scripture I want to read. I'm going to read other scriptures. We're going to get into some of these what these words mean. And we're going to title this sermon. I won't be before you as long as usual. I promise. Hebrews 9 and 27 says. And just as it is destined for people to die once. And after this comes judgment. We all going to die. But we want the judgment to be in our favor, not against us. So as you go about your life, you're supposed to keep it in perspective. I'm going to show you. You're supposed to keep it in perspective. People be getting money and now you think you all that. You think you better than other people. You put other people down. And then some people do it because they don't have money. Their life is miserable. So, and, and matter of fact, just a little off subject. Real quick. Kind of off subject. Off. You YouTube gangsters need to quit. You a YouTube gangster. Nobody can see your face. And you, you insulting people's intelligence and everything else. That's an indication of who you are as a person. Now, I might say things too, but I try to be careful as to how I say them 
Because what difference do it make if I can't, if I insult somebody, but, but I can't show them the error? That's what's wrong with y'all. Like, y'all don't let this country corrupt y'all. Y'all, And some of y'all don't even live in this country. You let your country corrupt you. Where you don't know how to be disagreeable. You don't know how to disagree with somebody. And if you're right, to show how you're right. If you're wrong, to learn. That's a learning mo moment. So, we hear a lot about this thing called grace. Um... I'm not going to destroy anybody's faith because you can get saved in a number of ways. It just depends on what you really got going in your heart and what you really got in your mind. Because the most high already knows is falsehood all through the world. So he looks at certain things and we're going to get into some of those. Let's define this word grace. To honor, it says to do honor or credit to Another. It comes from the Hebrew word sharam, C H A R A N, which means to bend or stoop in kindness to another as superior to an inferior. In other words, that visualizing it is kind of like if the Most High came up to one of us and got down on his knee, patted us on the head, and saved our souls. Knowing that he cannot be defeated, knowing that he's going to be around forever, he allows us to be with him forever. But what do y'all do? Y'all spend all y'all time trying to create beliefs that's false, that's going to just make them mad and make them want to judge. I'm not going to even stop you no more. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to present the information for those who don't want to go against the most I got. Now, first point I want to make is that the Most High does not need any of us. He doesn't. He created us because he wanted to share his love with somebody. It backfired because the free will um, deception came and they chose what they basically shouldn't have chose. Isaiah 66 and 2 says... For my hand made all these things. So all these things came into being. This is the most high talking. He said, but I will look to this one. At the one who is humble and contrite in spirit and who trembles at my word. So listen, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh my, this is important. Remember how he said his word is like the hammer that breaks the rock to pieces. Remember how when he said his word is like fire shot up in the bones? Okay, so that's how you know you're hearing the word. The word is supposed to make you tremble. The word is supposed to break through your arrogance. If, the, if you hear the word and you still arrogant, hey, that's you. But what's happening is it's a famine for the word because these preachers are not preaching. They just wearing suits, buying Mercedes Benzes, smiling, trying to act good in front of the people. They not showing you who they really are. But y'all help them every day. I should be the richest, one of the richest preachers in the world. But people don't help preachers like me because they too focus on the false ones. What do you got to do? Come out in the tutu? And some of y'all still ain't going to leave. So he said, the one who is humble and contrite. The word humble means having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Dude's walking around looking at my car. They walking around like Kane Jr. Little Canes. Look what I have bought. I almost, I almost say it, nigga. The word means ignorant. It's not just black people. Any, anybody could be a, a, a ninja. You walking around with somebody else's breath in your body. Somebody else's being in you giving you life. You a clay figure. You clay motion. 
what is it called? Clay motion. And you, I bought this card. Okay, how'd you get it? What what group do you belong to? I'm not going to tell you that. Most of them, they'll, they'll be arrogant over stuff they got going defying God. The word contract means feeling or expressing remorse. The word um, again, the word humble, having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's importance. The one contract, feeling or expressing remorse. So what he's saying is that he saves the one who realizes that he's important and they're not. Then he saves the one who expresses remorse over what they are. Abel was like, I know it's yours here. Take, take what's yours anyway. It's yours, so you, you can have it. Proverbs 1, verse 7 says, the fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, fools, you want to know where you stand? Fools. How you feel about what I'm saying right now? The Bible says fools despise wisdom and instruction. The Bible says rebuke a fool and he will hate you. Now watch this. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Matthew 5 and 3. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Here we go again. Isaiah 66 and 2 is connected to Matthew 5 and 3. Now, it don't matter whether you believe in the Messiah or not. It's obvious that whoever brought this word forth was connected to the Most High. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Ain't that what he said in Isaiah 66 and 2? Then scrolling down, he said, Blessed are those who have been persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now, we got a thing that's going to happen called the abomination of desolation. And that's where this Antichrist is going to sit in a rebuilt temple, declare himself to be a God, and people going to scatter. The believers going to scatter. The unbelievers going to bow down. That's why it says, fools hate, despise in some translations, wisdom and instruction. That's why he said, don't cast your pearls before swine. Once you see they not listening, once you see they trying to beef with you because you trying to talk about the Bible, just get off. And that work, they just let them be lost. Don't, don't. You need that job. Don't preach to them at work. I'm telling you, you're going to get in a lot of trouble. If the Most High wanted you to do it, he would get you out of trouble. you getting in trouble because he don't want you. He don't want you to cast your pearls before swine. Let them come and, and, and like he said, watch this, watch this. What did he say in Revelation 21? Did he say, let him that is a thirst, I'm coming after you. No. He said, let the person that is thirsty come. In other words, if they thirsty, they come for the word. You don't got to, you just, you just tell them where you at. That's it. Y'all be out here with bullhorns and stuff. You don't do all that. You're not doing it right. He don't need these people. Y'all act like he, please, please get saved. Please, I don't want to hurt you. Nah, he ain't like that. He not like that, I'm telling you. Now, see, y'all reject the prophets, so y'all don't learn how. The Most High is a righteous gangster. He's a sinless gangster. A sinless, righteous, holy kingpin. And he will get you. He will put a hit out on you. Keep playing. Y'all walking around... I look at my hair. I'm well groomed. I got this car. I got this money. I make this much. He looking at you like, all right, keep playing with me. He looking at you like, keep playing with me. His his uh, servants like, 
You want me to go ahead and get him? Not yet. Give him a chance. This, this, y'all don't know how the spirit realm work. Y'all listening to, to people who are the reincarnations of the devil, some of them. And then the other ones y'all listening to, people who are connected to Satan. And that includes preachers too. They love for money. The love of money is a root of all kinds of evil. You're supposed to get money. You're supposed to want to get money. Especially you start having kids. But people take it too far. They be like, they be in their red robes. All of this stuff is backwards. That's what they make them believe. So they be brainwashed to the point where they be thinking that we going to be lost and they the ones that's going to make it. Why you think, man, listen, do you really think in a fair world, a fair YouTube, do you really think some of them clowns that don't, they, they video, all they do is mess with people and, but they getting money. You think in a fair world controlled by the most high, did them the ones that will be monetized on YouTube? Come on now, man. Y'all need to wake up. Get out of the matrix. So, this one is entitled Prepare for what happens after you die. Prepare for what happens after you die. The Bible says you're going to face judgment. The Bible says, blessed are they who have part in the first resurrection. These is the ones who came. Remember how he said, come who, you who are thirsty. These are the ones who y'all dismiss, who y'all reject, who y'all don't like, who y'all calling them broke, y'all calling them bums, but yet they had enough within them to connect to the most high. Like Lazarus. Lazarus didn't have nothing in the earth. But he got everything now, what that rich man got. The Bible says it is easier for a camel. Y'all know camels got humps on their back and they big, they tall. To go through the eye of a needle. Some people say they talking about that cave over there. Did they have to wiggle to get through? Then for a rich man to come to the most high. So y'all seeking to be rich, but what if you have to deny your faith to get there? It ain't happening. It ain't happening. I'll keep wearing the cheap coats. I'll keep wearing the cheap hats. I'll keep driving the cars that's not the best. It ain't happening. I'm going to get as much as I can with him. I don't care what doctrines come out. I'm sticking with the most high. And that's that. That's how I know I'm going to be. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. He that endures to the end. This is the gospel. Not no using somebody as a shield. Now, if you, now I, ain't, I ain't coming against your faith. But make sure you add to your faith righteousness. Endure to the end. He that endures to the end shall be saved. You give up, you're not going to be saved. The devil in your ear and in my ear all day. Man, look look what these evil, I was going to start naming people. Look what this evil dude got. He got more money than you ever have in your life. So, I'm going to worship and serve the king. That, dude, that, that money stuff ain't nothing. If money was a thing, it'll be in the kingdom. Every time we read about the kingdom, we don't hear nothing about money. You know why? Because the most high can create material possessions with his power. He don't have he don't need printing machines to print money. He could make if he want money, if he want to look at money, he could money. Money would be right in his hand. Because he's fully powered and he's without sin. There's no evil spirit that can block what he does. 
So let's get into how you prepare. And we're going to, I'm going to show y'all what happens. And then we're going to close. So number one, you die. Number two, you go to the place you will be. Heaven or torment. In heaven, there'll be rest. In the abyss slash hell slash outer darkness, there'll be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What does this word gnashing mean? It means to grind out of anger. So in other words, there are people right now, all y'all little gangster boys, your homeboys, your dead, dead homies who didn't get right with the most high, all your relatives who didn't get right with the most high, all historians, everybody of all generations all over the world who didn't get right with the most high. You want to know what they're doing right now? Do you really want to know what they're doing right now? They crying. That's what they doing. They're crying. The fear of the most high is the beginning of knowledge. You go through your life not fearing God. Well, I'm going to fear God. I'm God. I got everything I need. Yeah, I. Right. I'm going to say it like they say on the street. Yeah, I. Right. I got everything I need, man. Oh, there's no God. I'm God. You got to manifest this stuff. Yeah, I. Right. All right, let me see you manifest a replica, a whole earth right now. Manifest the earth, recreate the earth, and post it on YouTube. You sound dumb. So they're crying. Your relatives crying. Your friends crying. You better get right with the most high before it is too late. Get your heart right. You got to bow down. You need to be thinking about your sins. This is what you do. Think about the things you've done in your life and then see what the Bible says about them. If the Bible does not agree with them and says they are wrong, you should be bad. You should feel sorry or you should be mad. You should feel sorry for yourself. You should humble yourself and begin to just cry out, cleanse me, save me, put my name in the book of life. Every day, that's what you should be saying because you're not going to win. Y'all dudes, arrogant. The most high had to correct me, man. Like, why are you trying to be around dude? And this is not how he said it. This is how I'm saying it. You, you... Cause this is what he'll do When you really belong to him You ain't gonna be close to these people anyway They're gonna ignore you They're gonna bypass you They're gonna reject you They're gonna disrespect you They're gonna do something Where you away from him He's gonna bring the division You my son Just what do you do as a father A good father is gonna do what He gonna keep his son away from that trouble I grew up I was in a clique I was doing stuff on my own. People was calling me Kane, like, man, you act like Kane. I was doing little solo stuff. This before I understood why I'm here and before I came to be in the household of faith. And it's like, People don't, they think God need them. You got dudes that do every sin in the world, then put on a, some gators and red bottoms or whatever and try to go to church on Easter. You ain't doing nothing, man. Once again, it's an illustration of your arrogance. They crying. There, uh, uh, I can't get out of here. Uh, the devil, uh, uh, shut up, B. They cuss, trying to cuss the devil out. They're trying to cuss the, the sons of God who went against him and got threw out. This is a family thing. Why you think the families are dysfunctional? Because the heavenly family was. He cleaned it out. 
He got rid of everything. Like, this is why I tell y'all when we talk about women, why y'all still keeping these women around that's not on your program? The most high didn't do it. Uh-oh, I went deep that time. I went deep that time. Some of y'all don't even know about that there. Y'all trying to keep women around who don't listen to you, don't respect you, probably cheated on you, want to cheat on you. That's the devil. The devil wants you to remain in dysfunctional places and deal with dysfunctional people instead of learning how to function yourself and then showing the world how to function and, and, and withdrawing from the ones that refuse to. Y'all be scared to leave a job. They can see heaven, they, and it's making them mad. This is what they doing right now in the abyss. They ain't, they ain't in the lake of fire yet. They in the abyss, looking up there like, oh, why am I here? Let me come up there. You ever heard? The, the people who be into that medium and all that stuff that's good at it, they always tell them, stay away from the light. That's what's making them thirsty besides their human emotions. They in the abyss, they going towards that light, they looking up there and it's hot. You know why? Read the book of Daniel because it says the river of the, is flowing from him. He got the lake of fire ready. He ain't threw him in there yet, but he got it ready. It's, it's flowing from They looking up there. They can't see him because they weren't pure enough, but they can see the light. And it's like, that's what it mean by gnashing the teeth. Let me, let me go tell my family so they won't come here like me. Oh, my God, I'm stupid. That's what they doing. We still, oh, man, such and such. We don't know what happened with Prince or Michael Jackson. We don't. I'm not taking up for them, but we don't. And I'm going to show you why we don't. Because both of them understood how it go both ways what the righteousness but I can say this they ain't have enough time that's why I say prepare yourself for what's to come after you die right now while you're alive or you gonna be like you're cussing them out you man, F you for one minute, they please just let me out of here. Next minute, F you. I don't, I don't got to come up there. That's the same attitude that got them. Like the most highest telling people that you think that keep your same energy. That comment is divine. That's what he telling the people in hell. That's what he telling y'all who won't repent. He's saying keep your same energy. And I come on here because he want me to come on here because he's fair. So anybody who don't give you access, anybody that has access to these videos and don't give you access to be able to make your own decision to see it, if they hide this, anybody that hide this, man, I feel for you. Your blessing is in getting out the way and let the most high do his work. Not because you, your ideals are different from mine. You trying to shadow ban my channel? I ain't gonna, you know what? I ain't gonna do what you gotta do. So, first resurrection are those who make it into heaven. At the end, their works are basically gonna be appraised. They already there. They wasn't perfect, but they made it because they endured to the end. They were contrite, humble, and whatever else was good enough for him to let them into the kingdom. See, that's what our life is supposed to be. 
figuring out how we can please God, figuring out how we can continue our life through eternity with him. But y'all ignoring them. Second resurrection are the dead, the lost souls. The Bible says the books will be open. They says basically will be revealed and then judged. So those things you thought you got away with that went against the Ten Commandments, went against the instruction of the Bible, the biblical behavior instructions in context, not what your pastor in context. We ain't talking about what your pastor said. We talking about what really is. That's what you're going to be judged by. And it's and, and, and it says whosoever name was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's all you should be doing is trying to figure out how to escape that. And everything else should come after that. All day long, like the, the only thing that scares me is the most high. That's it. That's just thinking about like you'd be like when you really scared of them, you'd be like, well, I'm, I am hoping to live to see my kids grow up because, you know, that he could take me out at any time. So I, I ask him for health. I ask him to live. I ask him for safety. Out of fear. I ain't scared of none of y'all. Your boys, your guns, nothing. Because you can't even take me out unless he allow you to. So I don't fear people. At all. I fear the most high, the one above, the one who is over all and above all. Because you will just start doing good and he can snatch it from under you and not even let you in your, his kingdom. Y'all talking about you are saved by grace and that none of yourself. I used to teach that too. Till I learned how he really is. See that grace teaching, if you're not careful with it, if you don't keep it in context, which we are saved by grace. Anybody that's saved, they're not saved because they are righteous. They saved because he looked at them like they was. Ways to know you're not ready. Number one, you do not believe in the most high. You need to get that right. Don't be listening to nothing that's going to take your faith away. You better learn how to cultivate your faith because your faith is like a crop that needs to grow. So you need to feed your faith with things, ideologies, uh, beliefs that make it grow. Number two, you don't believe you will be judged. I done heard people, ah, oh, man, I don't believe it's a heaven or a hell. Yeah, okay. If you go to a church that's telling you that, you are in, you you done. You you not you're not in the right place. You're not in the right place. And number three, you think you all that. You still think that somehow you important. If the most high, even if the most high use you, you still not important because if he, he could take you out right now and create five of you like me, the stuff he done taught me, he could be like, get out the way. And he could give five people 10 times as much as he gave me knowledge and wisdom. He could give a hundred, two thousand. And I know this. I know this, man. I can be in the... I, if, hey, if I don't get to know nothing but the nosebleeders of heaven, I'm good with it. I'm good. As long as I don't go in that torment, hey, keep my name in the book of life, please. But anyway, thanks for watching. Got stuff to do. I come on here every Sunday, you know, trying to teach you and help you. And every Sunday, somebody, I lose subscribers. But that's cool. Subscribers ain't nothing. I'm hoping that I could get monetized. I'm hoping that I could grow to the point where it's more impactful. But it ain't, it ain't that important. 
Look, check my history. I've been on YouTube since 2008. They've been playing games with my views since 2008. My old channel, let me see my old channel. Let me see how many how many subs it is. I, I can prove this to you. I'm going to go to my old channel. And then we're going to close. I don't want to scroll all the way down on my new channel because I subscribe to it. Look, they even shadow banning me on uh, on Google. Like, I can't even pull myself up. That's crazy with my own name. That is crazy. Okay, hold on. They're trying to play. Let me see. I gotta probably go all the way to the bottom of my subscribers. Don't try to be known or in cahoots with these people. These people ain't nothing, man. I'm done with that. I'm gonna be with the people that's with me and the rest of them. See, look. 116 videos. Who was that on the picture? This is what I used to teach. I got blocked out of this channel years ago. Look at the day. See that? Y'all think I'm lying? That's when I, this is when I start making videos on YouTube. February 3rd, 2008. Now let me show you what's weird. I'm finna show you something that's weird. And I didn't do this intention. If I'm not mistaken, I think this channel was created on the same day. No, nah, no, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. It was, I'm thinking of, one of my other channels was, though. Hey, hold on. They're trying to give people air time. So... Prepare yourself for what's more important than money, than sex, than food. A lot of this food ain't even good no more. It's a couple places that's decent, but a lot of it ain't even good. It ain't better than mine. But some people will say mine ain't good. It's always going to be somebody that's dissatisfied. But thanks for watching. Keep tuning in. We're going to come back next week with more videos and probably won't be every single day but it's gonna be most of them days so stay tuned